Yeah, this was my theme song yesterday, the Smokey and the Bandit theme song, as we made our way from Lansing up here to Mackinac Island, and there were a whole bunch of us doing it, uh, you know, here and there and everywhere, up 127 and I-75, and so Noel Laporte and I were Smokey and the Bandit. He had the Escalade, he was in front of me, I'm test driving a Hyundai, so I was behind, and I want to know who who would be Burt Reynolds and who would be Jerry Reed in that scenario. And so I'm going to have to talk to him about that because his car was bigger than mine, but he's a little younger than me, and there was no hound dog named Fred. Remember in that movie, good old Fred, that was fun stuff. Kathy Wilbur, Central Michigan University's Vice President for Development and External Relations. Nice good to morning. see you again. Oh, and of course at the crack of dawn, it's great to see you, Sorry sir. So, oh, no, no, no. You could have been here a lot anyway. earlier than I have. So. I'm sure you heard the clip clop of the horses and the Indeed. boats coming in and, and, and the stirrings. And Andy Hetzel is here too, Vice President of Corporate uh, Communications for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, who says that, uh, you know, he went to bed early because sleep is part of your overall health. And if I hadn't, I would have your jacket to help wake me up this morning. Thank you very much. This is a multicolored, uh, would you call that uh, seersucker? We don't I guess? know what we'd call that. <laughs> <laughs> the coat of many colors is what it is. The, Only the, certain the, handsome men could wear jackets like that. Like Joseph that. and the amazing technicolor. He's clearly had coat. more sleep than I have. So <laughs> that's what keep it is. him coming, he's, Andy. He's a healthy, he's healthy guy. And in fact, here at, at Grand Hotel, that's one of the things that you've decided to do. You partnered with Grand Hotel to create a healthy menu. Yeah, we've got a great partnership with the Grand, and we're excited about it. Um, it's called Live Healthy, Live Grand. It's about um, really extending the experience that people expect when they come to Grand Hotel um, into health and wellness. And uh, we've co-branded some menu options here um, that were uh, made accessible through the Grand Hotel's kitchen and the chef. Uh, we're also branding some of the activities on the, uh, on the grounds here. And we'll be up here as the major sponsor of the Independence Day holiday uh, this year. Blue Cross and Grand Hotel are partnering oh, yeah. over that weekend. So oh, we're excited about it. Uh, later on at uh, two thirty, in fact, the the healthcare's role in Michigan's economic recovery. Well, I suppose you'll be in front and center at that. Speech. I will. I'm looking forward to it. Healthcare is a huge part of Michigan's economy. Uh, hundreds of thousands of jobs are attributable to healthcare, and at Blue Cross, we pay about nineteen billion dollars a year in insurance benefits back into the economy, uh, and that's a staggering amount of money. It's about I think forty seven million dollars a day. Um, which is unbelievable if you consider the economic value of that money that we help process through claims and make sure that people get the coverage that they need and the health care that they need. Uh, and also to keep our hospitals running at uh, top efficiency. We've got one of the most efficient hospital systems in the country. And the Blues are partnering with the Hospital Association and with the independent hospitals to make sure that quality is addressed every day. Uh, in the services that people receive in the hospital. Healthcare, is is it naive to say that it's recession-proof? No, I don't think so. We're seeing utilization down at Blue Cross. Oh. Um, so people are not accessing uh, health services as frequently as they did when the economy was good. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are taking on more personal responsibility financially for healthcare, so they have cost sharing. Um, so some people are avoiding medical treatment. Of course, we don't recommend that. We recommend that you see your doctor regularly, you get the tests that you need. Um, but the reality is that in a soft economy, people seek it less. But that's why you create the, the tiered system of various sorts of coverage, all sorts of products for people in every, you know, with, with their budget, frankly. Sure. It's important to provide a diversity of products at dif different price points for people. People are in different situations, you know, regardless of where they are. They might be transitioning from an employer plan. Mm -hmm. They might be looking for the same quality of benefits that they got from their employer in the individual market. Um, insurers now are becoming more flexible, not just Blue Cross, but our competitors too, in offering uh, people what they need uh, because healthcare is changing uh, and more people are seeking it on their own. Uh, if you want, ever want to borrow the coat, just let me know. I will. Andy Hetzel, Blue Cross. I Blue think Channel I may Michigan. step in before that exchange <laughs> happens. Thank you so. for saving me from yeah, a commitment. Uh, well, Andy, I'm, I'm here as your friend. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Now, Kathy, when, when the, go he, the governor is going to be here, I guess, all three days. I understand that. And when he sees somebody like you from one of the universities after the, uh, the, the funding cuts, does he turn and run the other way? Well, I think he'd like to. But, yeah. uh, You're the, not going to let him do that. The good news is uh, we have had, before he was Governor Snyder, we had candidate Snyder on, on the CMU campus in Mount Pleasant mm -hmm. about five Five different times. So we had established a very uh, cordial and friendly and I think a very good kind of conversational relationship uh, with now Governor Snyder. And so I, 
you know, we're friends, we talk, uh, as he does with our president, President Ross. Um, it's a very strong relationship. I, I think you will find, or you look back at, at kind of the reports of all this, uh, those are very significant cuts to higher education in the state. It's a, at a minimum 15%. Um, and yet, every one of the presidents said, we understand the kind of year it is in Michigan. Mm -hmm. We will work with you, Governor. We'll work with you, legislature. Um, are we happy about that? No. But we, we really felt that this was the year um, we were willing to work. I think what we're more concerned about is what will the budget look like in the future. And so we continue to talk about, you know, let us work with you, let us help put together that dashboard, those metrics that you want to measure us by. Mm -hmm. We're not afraid of that. In fact, we welcome it. Uh, we think that's very fair. We're public institutions. We do receive public support. We also receive a great deal of public support through tuition dollars. Mm -hmm. And parents and families and our students need to be able to know what they're going to receive for that. So we have started those conversations about what the metrics would look like, possibly a formula uh, for higher education funding in the future. But, um, you know, we kind of had a, a gentle person's agreement that this would be our year to, to take that hit. Uh, but we really need to work very, very closely together as we get ready for the next year. Will tuition go up uh, next year at the CMU? I think fall? tuition will go up at every institution. Yeah. But, uh, but as you may or may not know, there is tuition restraint language mm -hmm. in the budget bill. Um, no that, more than seven, is that it? No more than 7.1. Mm -hmm. um, you won't see Central Michigan University anywhere near that figure. Oh. Um, I think that varies from institution to institution. Um, you know, like Governor Snyder, our president is a CPA. And they, they play with the numbers <laughs> and think about the numbers in a very different way than the rest of us on the planet. And uh, so we are able, I think, to be very, very moderate in the kind of increase that you will see. But but every institution will have to do that. Um, you know, there is an absolute correlation uh, between state support for public universities and the amount of tuition that you do have to charge the students that come to your campus. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I have a fear, an ongoing fear, that the public doesn't really understand that. When we've gone from 75% of state support, in our case now down to about 19%, wow. that is a very direct correlation. Yeah. And it's true for every public campus in the state. Um, so, yes, there will be tuition increases. Yeah, well, let us know. Obviously, we're heard on WMMI in Mount Pleasant, and always nice to see you in Lansing or Mount Pleasant or here on Mackinac Island. We just like to be seen. That's always a good so thing. Even in this coat. Yeah. <laughs>